So I just voted. I just voted. And it was I was surprised. The lady that was behind me was a very nice lady. She was very kind. I was talking to her about the automotive field and the trade and a couple other ladies got in on the conversation. And uh, she was like, you know, I have been a lifelong Democrat, but I am not voting for the Democratic Party this year. She said, I just... I just cannot support them anymore. Um, and the lady behind her was going like this with her head, like agreeing that she's doing the exact same thing. And I, I bet you most of the people on that line were voting for Donald Trump. The, the issue that I see isn't minorities, and it's not blue-collar people or anything like that. It is people that are retired between the ages of like 55 and 60 and like 80 years old, old white liberals that no matter what, they're voting Democrat. They're not going to ever change. They don't care. It's just how they are. Well, this lady was 60 and she said she has to. She said with taxes and stuff and the way they're taking money from us as citizens and just giving it away to all these countries and, and these illegals coming in here, I just can't continue to, to support that. And she said, with Social Security, and she's like, I want to save my Social Security, and I'm not going to be able to do that under the Democratic Party. And then she said, on top of that, look at Trump was talking about no taxation over 40 hours whenever you get into overtime. So she was like, he's been saying for a while now a lot of good stuff that is for the people that would help me keep money in my pocket as I get closer to retirement. So she was like, I'm not – in general – if you throw all the BS that the media says and stuff out and you just pick a few important points in your life that mean the most to you, and she said he fits those most important things to me right now is keep the money in my pocket, get ready for retirement, continue to invest in my my savings and my, my investments, and not taxing the living hell out of us. So uh, I said, well... That's good because I'm voting straight red down the ballot too. And she said, I just, I, I won't be a Democratic supporter anymore. Not after this. So, and the guy next to me, he looked like he was like 70 years old, white dude. He could barely stand up straight and he's bending over and he's like, oh, where's Harrison Malls? Where's, where's, and he's like mub, m muttering stuff to himself. And he's going like this with his eyes like squinting because he can't see very good. And then he clicks on Harrison Walls, just as I'm going to walk away, I, I just got done voting, so I'm standing back waiting for my thing to print out, and I see the guy making a commotion over there and saying, where's, where's Harrison Walls? And he taps on the screen, Harrison Walls, I was hoping he'd, his finger would drift down and he would hit Donald Trump right underneath, right underneath. <laughs> but, eh, whatever. Like I said, fits the stereotype. Old as dirt, white people, male and female, and then heavily indoctrinated college people are going to vote for the Democratic Party. But the majority of all the other people, minorities, and, and they're tired of it. I voted red down the ballot. That's just how I voted. And here's a really odd thing. I heard this lady repeat this multiple times at this location that I went to. She said, it's encouraged to have your voter ID out or your driver's license. But it's not necessary. We just have to ask you more questions. You can vote without an ID. It's just going to take a little bit longer to verify you. Hmm. That's not mandatory anymore in Illinois to vote with an ID. I didn't know that. Anyway, y'all be blessed. Take care. Have a great day.